Hey, hello, what is up guys? It's Jamie, aka the Fun Economist, coming at you guys today with a 500 subscriber Q&A special. First things first, I've gotta thank you guys for the awesome feedback that you guys have been leaving me on this channel recently, the likes, the comments, all the sort of support that you guys have been leaving me has been really motivating me to continue to produce the highest quality content that I can for you guys. And although 500 subscribers isn't the biggest number, it is a pretty good cool number for us, especially since we've actually gotten there so quickly in the past couple of weeks. I think we went from like 300 subscribers or something like that to like, you know, I think we're closing in on like 700 subscribers right now. So, you know, definitely a crazy growth for a channel of my size. And that's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for that. So a couple of videos ago, I actually made the comment question of the day for you guys to give me some questions for this Q&A. And you guys have some interesting ones. So let's get right into them. So the first question comes in from Hunter Goldberg, and he asked, how old are you? Uh, to answer your question, I'm 19 years old, and I'm going into my second year of college or university or whatever you want to call it. So the next question is, what is your current relationship status? I am currently single, which probably isn't a surprise to a lot of you because I spent a lot of my time here making video game tutorials, but I was able to maintain a relationship throughout high school and into my first year of college. It eventually didn't work out. We had to break it off about eight months ago because of some long distance things. She was going to school in Philadelphia, I was going to school in Virginia, and it just wasn't really working out. But the reason I tell you that is because the current status of our relationship is really strange, and that is because our only real communication revolves around a Spotify account that we share. And for those of you that don't know, you can't actually listen to the same Spotify account on two different devices at the same time. Whenever one of us tries to listen to music while the other person is listening, it kicks the other person off of Spotify, and we have to text the other person saying like, yo, can I have the Spotify account back? And that's like been our only communication for the past eight months. Relationship breakups 101 with Jamie. We're doing it perfectly. So the next question is, what is your best pack? Now, I usually don't open packs just because my pack luck is really, really bad and I might as well just burn my coins. But the other day I was opening a pack from my Front Draft Reward Pack and I managed to pack Diego Costa and a rare squad fitness in the same pack. And I was like, boom, 8K right there. I'm rich. <laughs> this is great banter. The next question is, what is your highest rated foot draft? Now, my actual highest rated foot draft is a 191, but I do want to tell the story of when I got a 190, back when it was like really cool to get 190s, like back when like people would like title their videos, 19 foot draft, exchange, 99% impossible challenge, attempt, like just to get views on their videos. And I actually got one with my friend and we we're like whoa like this is insane and, I, and he was like yo can I play with it now my friend isn't the best player so I was like uh, like I don't really know if I want to waste this foot draft and I knew but he's like please man I was like okay so I let him play with the first game thinking like what's the worst that could happen he's got a 190 foot draft what's the worst that could happen he lost in the first round 4-0 and we got Jack Wilshire in the pack and I like I was just we had a we didn't talk for a while. If you're watching this, Daniel, I love you, but you suck at FIFA. So the next question is actually another interesting one, and that is what got you started on YouTube and why? Now that actually comes with another sort of interesting story, and that is that a lot of you guys know that I'm studying in college to become an economist, but not many of you know that I actually started this YouTube channel because of a school project that I did in my economics classes. I actually started it because I went to office hours one day, which is sort of like an independent study time that you can go and talk with one of your professors, and I said to my professor, I want to study economics. I want to study economics by myself. What is something that I can do on my own time to help further my studies? And he said to me, go ahead and study a market by yourself and then come back to me and tell me what you find. And I sort of thought to myself, well, I don't really know many other markets and I can't really compete with any of the major guys that like study like Wall Street or like the New York Stock Exchange or anything like that. So I thought, why don't I stick with what I know and I'll study the, you know, the FIFA market, the FUT market. So that's actually the reason behind a lot of those like really sort of strange videos in the beginning where I'm talking about like really technical economic terms in relation to the FUT market. Like I'm talking about like price elasticity, supply and demand, um, government regulation, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And like, those are really tough to like actually apply to like trading and stuff like that. I've sort of like, you know, translated that into like these trading methods that I create now, but that's actually what got start me started on this channel was it was a project that was being graded as extracurricular hours. And that's how it all got started. I, I started making videos about those weird terms and stuff like that. And people started watching it. I was like, Hey, why not? Maybe I'll just continue making like these, you know, these sort of regular trading methods and maybe people watch those too. And the, the rest is history. So the next question is if you lost a challenge in your video during the BPL season, would you ever go to an Arsenal game wearing their shirt? Now my first reaction, like my gut reaction as a Spurs fan was hell no, never ever would I ever go and ever do that. 
if you think about it, it might be really fun, like, to go to an Arsenal game wearing an Arsenal jersey and then celebrate if Spurs scored. Can you imagine, like, if you're just there, like, you know, chilling and then Spurs score and then you go wild and, like, everyone in the fans, like, ah, like, shit, they scored. But you're just, like, this dude, like, going crazy in an Arsenal shirt, but, like, cheering for Spurs. Can you imagine the looks that you'd get? I, I don't know. I, I think it actually might be fun. If I do ever have a chance to do that, I might go and do that. The next question is, who is your best goalkeeper in FIFA? And for me, it is definitely Leno. He actually makes the least amount of, like, st stupid mistakes for me out of any keeper in FIFA. Least amount of, like, st stupid mistakes. Goalkeepers will now look, move, and think like their real-life counterparts. And I can understand if you get scored on because of a great shot from outside the box that like hits the post and goes in or that's fine. Like I don't expect you to save that. But if you're making like mistakes where you like go out on a corner and try to punch it and like miss it, that's going to make me frustrated. And that happens like with every other keeper. Well, not every other keeper, but a lot of keepers in this game. And Leno for me does that the least. So he's my favorite. So the next question is actually pretty interesting and I've actually thought about it a lot. So and it reads, there are many trading channels in YouTube and it seems like every other day there is a new trading channel. So what will you do? to stand up and be more unique than the rest of the trading channels. Now, that's actually a pretty interesting question, and I've sort of thought about it, and I've come to the conclusion that I want my channel to be more of an in-depth trading channel, and I don't want the person behind the trading channel, which is me, obviously, to just be like a talking figurehead. So to address that more in-depth thing, I want you guys, when you leave a video from my channel, I want you guys to know why we're doing a method or why you're investing in something. I don't want you guys to just know like exactly how to do it for just the situation on this day, on this week. I want you guys to know like why investing in MLS team of the season works or why investing in consumables right now is you know incredible or why investing in legends during the team of the year or the team of the season is like one of the best investing methods out there. You know, I don't, I don't want you guys just to know that you're supposed to do it on this day because I told you to. I want you guys to know like the how and the why of it so that you guys can start to make your own decisions. And to sort of address that second part, I haven't really been able to do it as much as I would have wanted to, but I want this channel to be more than just me sitting up here and telling you guys like exactly what to do on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when it comes to trading in the FUT market. Like if there's nothing interesting going on in the FUT market at the time, I want to be able to rely on like doing a Q&A or like maybe I'll do a vlog or like a fun FIFA challenge or like play FIFA with my roommates or something like that. And I want you guys to be able to enjoy that just as much as you enjoy my FIFA trading videos. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see that sort of content on this channel. Or maybe if I should start like a second channel where I do like, you know, let's plays or vlogs or whatever. So the next question is if you could travel to any country in the world, what would it be? Now, I've sort of thought about this a little bit. And I think to maximize my sort of like travel opportunity, I would want to go to Spain. Now, the reason I say that is because I've actually taken like 12 years of Spanish in my high school and middle school career, and I've actually gotten pretty darn good at it, um, and I'd want to use it for something more than just like passing pointless verb conjugation quizzes that, you know, I'm never going to see ever again in my life. So I want to go to Spain to one, use my Spanish, and then two, because it would be sort of like, I'd set it up as like an ideal like footballer or, or like soccer fan like getaway or whatever you want to call it right and i would travel from like stadium to stadium and like city to city and like just watch a game in like every city that i stay at and then like for the rest of the week i'd stay in that city and just chill there and then like the next week when the next game was on i would go to a different city and watch a different game so like yeah that, i think that'd be like really cool i don't know watch shut up but that's gonna do it for this q a i do apologize if i wasn't able to get to one of your questions i didn't want to make this video too too long but i do have to thank you guys once again for 500 subscribers it's a crazy milestone considering that i started this eight months ago just as like an economics projects i didn't think i would get anywhere near to this so thank you guys once again all of your feedback all of your comments really do mean a lot to me uh, but other than that it's been jamie aka the flutter comments keep your trade pods full stay rational and i'll see you on thursday for another video